So since, um, but it's not, it's not your fault. I'm just like, you know, you know, maybe it worked for other people. It, didn't, um, it didn't work for me. I do want to say that there's, and I, and I can show you this, there's something floating around the room, and I, I, I know it because I've been in the same situation myself some years ago, and that is imagining the plutocracy, um, you know, the, the, uh, the interlocking network of rich people who run the Jewish community, um, allegedly, um, uh, repressing creativity or making decisions about where all this stuff should go. Um, having had now some years of contact with such people um, uh, after having led sit-ins against them, um, I, I, can, uh, I, I can say um, they're, not, they're not that nefarious, they're not that smart, they're not that strategic, they're not that powerful. So it's just, it's really, it's, you know, it's really quite sloppy at all. You know, we're all uh, operating in a in kind of a sloppy environment. And generally, the funders are generally, except in a Marxist sense, you know, they're, they're doing things they don't know what they're doing. But at least consciously, they're for something. But they're not usually like against something, you know, for peoplehood or for camps or for visual advocacy or for healing. And, you know, some, someone else wants to do something else. Fine, have, you know, uh, uh, um, go, go in good health. Um, uh, so I, I, I'm just, I just think I, I noticed that and I just want to indicate that the, the, my perception of that world out there is that it's, it's less, um, less demonic in, in, in the worst sense of the term. With that as my little attempt, poor attempt at synthesis and drawing out the meaning, Uchi will have something to say after Jeff Chandler takes a crack at trying to make to, 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 to bring some meaning to this uh, 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 necessarily disparate pioneering conversation. Uh, I'm about to sit down and probably not get up again. I want to thank you all for really contributing to it to our to our thinking and and, and stimulating all of us to continue to further and handling this so 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 extraordinarily well. Jeff, you're on. Okay. Okay, well, Steve asked me to do this all of five minutes ago. He said, can you, can, you, can you give us something to say? Because I knew I wasn't going to get there myself. Okay. <laughs> well, I mean, sitting here listening, and, uh, uh, it, for me, what this has been very valuable to, to you know, be hearing this conversation and thinking about, uh, you know, the challenges that, that teachers face, you know, with, with you know, the possibilities that these 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 new media create, uh, you know, uh, create, and uh, you know, and uh, you know, and I face them myself in, in, in environment in university where less attention actually is is paid to pedagogy because we're primarily researchers and uh, uh, vestigial uh, uh, methods of learning are, are are considered quite acceptable at least by the professors and so by the students, and. Um, so, but but it's been very helpful for me to think through, you know, this very with with issues that I'm with as a teacher, and you know, one of the things that clearly is now part of every teacher's agenda, including should be in the university, is the need to engage with with uh, the options of new media uh, uh, very critically and very selectively. And um, you know, I, I was struck by you know David's uh, point where he said, you know, ultimately, I'm not concerned about the technology; I'm concerned about the pedagogy. And the technology should be serving the pedagogy. And I, I agree, and this includes, uh, you know, and especially when I think about, um, you know, the, the various ways that Jewish life in its fullest engages tech, technologies, including a fondness for ancient technologies in certain settings, like Torah schools, which is... Uh, is, is, a, is, a, is, a, is, a, is a communications medium uh, that, uh, in its vestigial nature, has a power that, that, that's uh, invested in it, and at the same time, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, drawn to thinking about, you know, how can you know state-of-the-art material being used, and you know, that, so there's a real interest in the grand sweep of these technologies, and I think you know the challenge for pedag pedagogues, you know, what. What do you want, including, you know, uh, embracing uh, on their own terms, uh, you know, old-fashioned kind of pedagogy, but one now needs to make a case for it. So when I teach, uh, I don't allow students to have laptop classrooms. 
And uh, but I realize I can't. I have colleagues who don't do it either, but they just sort of issue, you know, the 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 UKs and that's it, you know. And uh, for me, I feel it's important to explain it. And I say to to my my students, I say, you need to have to learn how to sit and listen to one person talk for an hour and a half, because that's a skill. It's not going to happen naturally, and uh, it can be, especially for uh, people used to multitasking, that can be an extraordinary challenge. But I said, but that's a skill you're going to need to know in life. So part of what you're learning here is to sit and listen uh, and, uh, and to minimize distraction. Very, very difficult. Um, uh, and uh, so uh, I think a lot of it is, on the one hand, you know, making the choices, including the choices not to necessarily go with what is, you know, state of the art and the fanciest and the most plugged in, but what, you know, what you feel best serves your pedagogical goals and one's own teaching style and one's own relationship with students. On the other hand, they um, have an, uh, as an enormous part of their life, which is why I think it feels so revolutionary is this is now so imbricated into daily life in ways that feel, uh, you know, uh, that uh, part of what I think what we need to think about is how do you teach students to think uh, critically uh, and develop critical media skills as it relates to Jewish life broadly defined. And uh, that not only related to what's on your lesson plan and what your subject Teaching, to think about how, how those skills can be imparted. And of course, we're learning along with our students, makes it uh, 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 more challenging, but uh, I, I think it's a, uh, an extremely important thing to, to place on the agenda as uh, a pedagogical project. So uh, I hope this has helped uh, and food for further thought. And I, uh, I hope you continue to have the conversations because this, is, this clearly is, is, is the beginning of uh, uh, ongoing work. Uh, uh, and I thank you for including me. Thank you.